are ghost demons. That's what this video is about. I want to welcome you to the channel. I'm Pastor David. I just made another video on our ghosts in the Bible. I'll drop the link below to that. Go check that out. Listen, I'm so glad you're here. My heart is to teach you the word of God, to see captives get set free and be able to walk in their full purpose and calling in life. So we're going to answer today in this video, our ghost demons. All right, so we're unveiling some mysteries that are in this book, things that we want to know. The Bible has the answers for it. So we're going to take a look at 1 Timothy. Paul writes to, to Timothy, that is Batman, writing to Robin, and he says something that gives clarity on what ghosts are. 1 Timothy 4, verse 1. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Right there it says, listen, people are going to actually leave from the faith because there's deceitful spirits and teaching of demons. So you can see, like Paul would write in Ephesians 6, 10, where he talks about, hey, listen, we wrestle against a dark force, dark principalities, that there's a real enemy. We're engaged in spiritual warfare. And he's saying that the teaching now is actually what's going to cause people to leave the faith, the teaching of these spirits and demons. So you have to be careful of what you're putting your belief in. He's warning Timothy. He's like, listen, that there is a dark teaching out there and people need to know about it. Before we go any further, you are not to have a spirit, a spirit of fear. Don't beware, but be aware of what the Word of God has to say for you in your life. And remember, he said these deceitful spirits and demons. What does that mean? They're going to try and corrupt the truth. They're going to try and deceive you from what you know and what good your Father has for you. One thing I want to tell people is know those who labor amongst you and know those who are teaching you the Word, and myself included. I listen to several global pastors and global teachers. I take time and actually study what they're studying, look up the verses, and that's why I want to encourage you for every one of the videos that you watch of mine, go and look the verses up for yourself. Hey, when it comes to not being deceived, you have to understand what you know. The FBI, when they train people to find counterfeit money, they actually don't show them all different forms of counterfeit money. What they actually give them is an authentic piece of money and say, hey, do you feel that? Do you feel that that $100 bill? Do you feel that $20 bill? Do you feel the way it feels? Yes. So when they do that, whenever an agent gets a fake one, they're like, oh, this one feels different. So knowing the truth is what matters the most. And you got to plug into a good local church, good, solid teaching. And here's why. Watch what Paul writes now in Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 11, 14 and 15. It says this, and no wonder... For even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. People want to act like the spiritual has a light and a dark side. Because you find that in text, in the scripture, in the Holy Bible. But then what do you also hear? You hear stuff like, they're a good witch or a bad witch. Or, oh, these crystals do these good things. And these ointments and spells do these good things and there's bad things that can happen. No, no. There is what's of our Father and of the kingdom of heaven, which is good, okay? And everything else is evil. So what the devil would love for you to believe is that your relatives that might have passed away or people that died are still somehow walking the earth. And that's not true. What's happening is that's one of these deceitful spirits and this is one of these teachings that is from Satan that's trying to convince you that whenever we die that we do not go to the judgment seat of Christ but instead for instead for some time we're actually still alive on earth that is a deceitful teaching that is not true because my Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord even to the point that the deceitful teaching will go that Satan will manipulate himself so that he will present it to you as if the teaching is good and is holy with such things as saying, oh, I know that my grandmother was in my room last night taking care of me. Or, oh, I know that my relative is watching over me right now. And as innocent as these are, they are not biblically sound. You do not want your grandmother with you or a relative at all watching over you. You want them at home in heaven where they belong. See, it's a deceitful teaching 
and it is not accurate for scripture. Let's take a look. I've been alluding to Paul's writings a lot, and I even alluded to Ephesians 6.10. Well, let's look at Ephesians 6.12 right now. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities and against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. Believe it or not, the demonic that you see here in Ephesians and also you see a reference in Colossians are broken down into principalities. And this references cosmic and spiritual entities. And it says, you know, in the cosmic level, what you have to understand is that just like we have governments where we have nations state our nation the united states of america then states and then counties and then cities the same with the demonic that they have principalities and they have powers they have familiar spirits but they are all demonic so when you see something happening on behalf of a ghost it's actually a manifestation of the demonic it is not a spirit that is allowed to freely roam this earth and it can be a spirit because they are not of the kingdom of heaven and ever since genesis the very first book in the bible the devil has been lying and he is a liar they owe you no obligation to tell you the truth so like we see in the last video where king saul went to a witch and i said that that ghost that comes out i said i do not believe it was the prophet samuel here's why because that demon does not have to say the truth it can lie that Ouija board that you're believing in, those tarot cards you're believing in, first of all, a lot of that's just random. Second of all, if it is spiritual, don't trust it. Fortune tellers, psychics, listen, they all have the ability to fully lie. That's why it's so important that you know the truth, that God is holy. And if he is holy, then he is set apart. And if he is set apart, that means he is pure and he is clean and no deceit is found in him. That's how Jesus is described. Jesus cannot and will not lie to you. We do see in scripture that angels can actually commonly, as we know, take the form of humans. They also have other forms that are not humans as well. You can look at Ezekiel and the uh, book of Daniel for those other crazier ones, but you can look at Sodom and Gomorrah for the normal looking human based angels. Well, demons are fallen angels. And as we talked about earlier, that they could deceive and they take on the persona of beings from the light and that they can look like humans. So when you see in these videos of people capturing a ghost on camera or the different stuff, so you think you see something that that is actually a demonic force of the spiritual world that is in the area, but do not be afraid for you do not have a spirit of fear, but one of power, love and of a sound mind and that it is finished. And on the cross, we now walk in victory and the name of Jesus is above every name. That includes any demonic things. You don't even need to know the demon's name to throw it out and stop what it's doing. The Bible says that if we got to see the devil and how insignificant he is, we're literally going to say, this is the one that tormented us for our whole life? No way. He's a joke. You have to understand that. They use fear as a weapon. But if you choose, choose faith over fear and speak the name of Jesus, cast out what's causing that fear and walk in that victory, you will see how much more authority you have in Christ than they have in this world. So walk in victory, step out, don't be afraid. Look guys, I hope that helped you. I hope that answered your questions. Smash that like button, subscribe. I love to put content out. Drop any questions below that you have. I'd love to make a follow-up video on this. Drop any other topics you want me to teach on in the comments below. Check out uh, another uh, the other videos I have, like Did Jesus Go to Hell After the Crucifixion? Check that one out. Check out the um, Our Ghosts in the Bible. I love to teach you. I love to be a part of your story. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video.